So, I made an own window manager, and here's how I did it. Are you worthy to be the man who makes the temple? So first of all, what even is a window manager? Formally, a window manager is a software component in an operating system that controls the placement, appearance and behavior of a window on a graphical user interface. And if you would ask a Linux user, window managers are the heart of his everyday life. But let's get to Ragnar, my window manager. So our journey begins on the 13th of April 2023. And yeah, it was a sunny holiday afternoon, and there was like this idea floating in my head for a while, which was making an own window manager. And eventually I stumbled upon this article called Basic WM, which explains how to make a really basic window manager in C and Xlib. And yeah, I followed it. And I have to admit that the code is pretty buggy and not ready for production. But still, it was a pretty big step and yeah, here you can see some footage of the first ever version of Ragnar. And at the time I was also introduced to the Unix porn subreddit, which is a community to share the configuration of your Unix setup. And on day one already I submitted my first post about Ragnar to the channel and after a few hours the post had already become very popular, which I've never thought, and in the end it got over 100 upvotes and the people were liking Ragnar a lot. So yeah, the days went by and every day I added new features and development was pretty fast. The development of the core features like tiling went on to the 28th of April and this is also where I noticed something. The GitHub repository of Ragnar gained more and more stars and views and yeah as you can see here in this screenshot Ragnar had 66 stars and I was very proud. I would never have thought that the project would get this kind of attention and motivated by that I kept going. In the next couple of weeks, from the 26th of April to the 15th of May, I added more features like multiple desktops, multi-monitor support and more. And my main goal was to release the first stable version of Ragnar, version 1.0. And at the time the GitHub project was growing bigger and bigger and I really was motivated by the success of Ragnar. And that time around I frequently posted on uh, Unix porn and I always tried to upload the content on 5pm as that was the time where the most users were online. And the content was liked very much and I got in touch with lots of people who liked my work. And as it had to be the 15th of May was the release date of Ragnar's first stable version. This version contained all of the basic features that were needed in a tiling window manager, namely a built-in bar, multiple desktops and tiling. And yeah, the community of Ragnar was growing very fast and lots of people contributed to Ragnar and were interested. On the 18th of May release 1.1 was finished which added decorations to windows and other bug fixes and minor features. That period, I would say, was the golden age of Ragnar. The stars and views were at an all-time high. A week later, on the 27th of May, version 1.1.2 was published, and that release added better customizability for the bar, bug fixes and more. And another week later, version 1.2 was ready. This update added lots of features, one of which being the addition of four new window layouts that were changeable during runtime. Then, finally, nine days later, on the 12th of June, update 1.3 came out, which completely overhauled the bar and added final polishing, like hovering windows to select them. After the release of version 1.3, I was very proud because I reached my goal of having an own environment in which I and other people could work in. 
The release of version 1.3 was actually one week before my upcoming internship, which was at a startup that focuses on web development. And my end goal was to reach 300 stars on the project before the internship. Five days later, the goal was reached and Ragnar gained what, 300 stars. On the 19th of June, my internship began and I showed the employees my work. I suggested that I could make a website for my window manager as a project for the one week long internship. And that's what I did. From the 19th to the 23rd of June I worked as an intern and every day the website was getting closer and closer to being finished. I made the whole website with TypeScript and Next.js which were new to me. After the 5 days the website was ready to launch. And in the description there is a link to the website for everyone who wants to check it out. And yeah, that's basically it. That's the story of Ragnar and how I created it. Ragnar was one of the most exciting projects I've ever made and all of the effort that went into it was worth it. But without your support, this would never be possible. Thank you for everyone who left a star for Ragnar. It really made my day every time. <laughs>